We have learned that the gunman 29 year old Omar Mateen had been on the FBI's radar several years ago. In fact, in 2013, the FBI had opened up an investigation into him after his co-workers came to the bureau and said that he was making inflammatory remarks that made them believe that he was tied to terrorism. Ultimately, the FBI did not find any wrongdoing, could not uh, substantiate those remarks that his colleagues said he made, and, and the FBI closed that case. And then in the next year, the FBI interviewed him for a third time in a separate investigation that he was not the subject of. The FBI wanted to see if he was had close ties to an a, American suicide bomber. Ultimately, uh, the FBI said that it didn't find that they had a, a sub substantive relationship, and so the FBI closed that investigation. So after that, uh, essentially the Bureau moved on. Of course, the big question is whether anything was missed. The Bureau has been speaking to family members of this gunman, his ex-wife. What they seem to be focused on is this notion that he did have anti-gay views. In fact, just recently, uh, the father says that he was upset uh, during an incident in Miami where he saw two men kissing. So it was very evident uh, to them that uh, that he had anti-gay sentiment. At this point, investigators are looking at the possibility of this being a hybrid of whether this is a hate crime or he was targeting the gay community combined with international terrorism. We know he made that 911 call where he said he pledged allegiance to ISIS. Uh, still a lot to uncover in this investigation, still very early on.